What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 Blue Light of Death. I recently purchased the PlayStation 5 and I've had a lot of comments since with people asking for help with their PlayStation 5 with various problems. So just like I did with the PlayStation 4 and previous consoles, I'm going to be trying to tackle those problems with some of the easy fixes that you can do yourself even if you're not tech savvy. So today we're going to be starting with the PlayStation 5 Blue Light of Death. So now how to tell if your PlayStation 5 is in the blue light of death. Instead of turning on and connecting to the TV like normal, as you can see behind me here, it will have on the console a solid blue light, and it won't transition to the white light as you normally would see whenever it's turning on, and it won't have the orange light as it would if it was going into rest mode. It will have a solid blue light, and the screen will stay usually black, or sometimes there will be a message on it. Now, if you are having the blue light of death, do not worry. There's a few things that you can try, even if you're not tech savvy. The first thing to check is the power cable. You're going to first turn off your PlayStation 5. You're going to disconnect the power cable, and you're going to check the cable and the ports on the console for any damage. If you don't see any damage, you're going to go and plug it back in, but this time you're going to make sure the connection is very secure and that the wire and the cable is not very loose. If it is, there could be a problem with the ports that you visibly cannot see. So you're going to want to make sure that the connection is secure. If it is, go ahead and try to turn on the PlayStation 5 and see if that did fix the blue light of death for you. If it didn't, I do recommend replacing that PlayStation 5 power cable and try to use another one to see if that did fix your problem. Now, if that didn't work for you, let's go on to the next step, and that is to check the HDMI cable. Now, you're going to turn off your PlayStation 5, and you're going to disconnect the HDMI cable from both the TV and the console. You're going to check the port on the console, the cable at both ends, and the port that it was plugged into on the TV, and you're going to check for any damage. Now, if your TV has multiple HDMI ports, I recommend to plug that same cable into a different HDMI port to see if that does work for you. In the past, with the PlayStation 4 Blue Light of Death, that is how I got mine to work because I didn't realize that one of my HDMI ports just stopped working and that's why I was in the blue light of death on the PlayStation 4. So what I did was simply unplug it from that port and plug it into a different port and the console started to work again. So I do recommend if your TV does have different HDMI ports to try plugging into one of the other ones to see if it does work for you. Now, if that didn't work for you, I do recommend replacing the HDMI cable for myself, for my setup. I am using the one that came with my PlayStation 5, but I also have a ton of spares, including one that is an industrial one, which eventually, if this HDMI cable goes out, that will be the one that I use because that is the most expensive one that I have, which I know will ensure no problems in the future. So I do recommend if you did try different ports on your TV, simply try replacing your HDMI cable, but remember, whenever you're replacing the HDMI cable, try not to pick the cheapest option, try to pick something in the middle so you know it will and hopefully will last and work for you. Now if that didn't work, let's move on to the next step and that is all going to be done into safe mode. So to enter safe mode on the PlayStation 5, very similar to the PlayStation 4, you're going to turn off the PlayStation 5, you're going to press and hold the power button for 7 seconds until you hear the second beep. Once you hear the second beep, it's going to launch into safe mode and it's going to prompt you to connect the control controller to the console with the cable that came with your controller. So you're going to go ahead and do that and then you can check out the different options into safe mode. Now once you have entered safe mode, the first thing to try while in safe mode is the first option and that is to reset the PlayStation 5. Now that is not going to factory reset it. What that's going to do is simply restart the console. It's going to turn off and turn back on and hopefully that does fix the blue light of death for you. Now if resetting it didn't work, go back into safe mode. Now this time you're going to select change video output. Then on the next screen, you're going to select change resolution and you're going to go through the steps and hopefully that does work for you. Back with the PlayStation 4, that did work for a lot of people. Now, if changing the resolution did not work for you after it is complete, then what you're going to want to do is power cycle your PlayStation 5, which honestly is not as scary as it sounds. To do this, you're going to turn off the PlayStation 5, you're going to unplug all of the cables, you're going to wait about 2 to 5 minutes with it unplugged. Now with it still unplugged, you're going to press and hold the power button for 7 seconds, and then you're going to wait another 1 to 2 minutes. 
After you have done all of that, you're going to then plug the cables back in and try to turn on the PlayStation 5. What you're essentially doing whenever you're power cycling it is basically draining out all of the power that was remaining in the console and emptying it. So whenever you plug it back in, it should hopefully work for you. Now, unfortunately, if none of that worked for you, the very last step that you can try yourself is to factory reset your PlayStation 5. You can either do this by going into the settings or you can go into safe mode and factory reset your PlayStation 5. But remember, this will erase everything. So with PlayStation 5, you're going to have to sign back in to your accounts once it is fixed and you're gonna to have to download everything and sign back in and hopefully all your save files are still there. I have mine auto saving to the cloud and that's honestly the best feature for PlayStation. To do this, the simplest way is to go into safe mode and this time you're gonna select option six and that is gonna completely wipe out your PlayStation 5 and factory reset it for you. Now, unfortunately, if none of that worked for you and your console is still under warranty, I recommend contacting Sony or the retail store that you did purchase it from. I know the PlayStation 5 comes with their own warranty, but to get that, you're gonna have to send it back to Sony. They're going to basically repair it and send it back to you. But I know GameStop also offered a one year and a two year warranty on the PlayStation 5 as well. So if you did opt in and purchase one of those and it's still under warranty, it's just a matter of going back and exchanging it for a new console. So that's honestly the best method that I would do. Unfortunately, if nothing that I talked about in this video did not work for you, there's not much more that you can try. If it's not under warranty, then you might have to take it to somebody to get it repaired and explain to them everything, and hopefully they can get the console fixed for you, but obviously that is gonna cost you a little bit of money. Now, I hope this has helped you guys fix your blue light of death. Now, I know I did say at the beginning of this video, this will not work for everybody, but hopefully this did work work for you at least one of the steps that I did mention. I'll see you guys in the next video and there's going to be more PlayStation 5 videos to come in the future. See you guys in the next one.